I'll go inspect the bone pile. Is there any awfulness left? Just some bones. Just some bones. Cool. Who wants to do something with the altar? Oh, I'll grab me. my manacles first. Tender's gonna rinse himself off. <laughs> well, you, you missed, Vlad. Same. Oh, yeah, this is just 100%, just going for a, a tiny little swim in the... That's probably not that clean, actually. Just kind of rolling it. Two feet of water? <laughs> okay, be okay. Yeah, I kind of paddle through it a little bit. Yeah, Walk around so... Like a fish. I'm, I'm climbing out immediately. You gotta open the door first. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze through like a cheese grater. Yeah, I'm gonna try to open the door. I guess. How's the fog that was here? Is that? Oh, um, so what is this? Who drew the? I look away for a <laughs> second. And somebody draws. I was a trying to move this line. Um. That was my motion blur. I was going fast. The <laughs> fog. Uh. Is still there. That's good. This this altar is not gonna be. I never covered my arrows. Yep, you can get back your half. I fully intend to destroy the shit out of the altar. Is there a is there a spot on the altar for a maybe like a sooty orb? Nope. No, there's a spot in a vendor's bag <laughs> for a sooty orb. What about a hag's severed finger? <laughs> no. I know there's room for a creepy blanket, but I already took that. That's mine. Alright, um, let's, let's get out of this room. Uh, we're destroying the altar first. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm getting out of this room. Same. Oh, the portcullis is still closed. Yeah, I want to open that. This is your opening device. Sure. Okay, I open it and then flee from the gross water immediately. Okay. Maybe yeah. I hiss too. I definitely hiss. Okay. I dry myself did off. Anyone, did device. anyone look at the baby or anything like that besides Tender? Um, I mean, I'll, I'll take the, the skeleton before leaving the room, I guess. Okay. Um, just so I can, you know, put it in its proper place. Sure. Um... Do you, do you take the glowy gem, or do you just leave that with Tender? I mean, if Tender took the gem, then it's his. Um, if he didn't, then I, I take it. Yeah, he took the gem. Okay. Alright. I have a little collection of gems. Okay, so you take the gem. Vlad, you're still... Hanging out by the altar. Uh, I am actively destroying the shit out of this altar. Okay. You start hacking away at it. Fender's just watching. Um, the altar itself seems pretty solid. That's fine. I've got a while. <laughs> um, so the rest of you... What are you guys up to? Are you just hanging out? I know Boater, uh, Inuk expressed an interest in returning the baby body. Baby body. I'm drying off. Okay. Let's go put the, uh, child to bed. Okay. So the two turtles are getting up to? Yeah. Okay. Um, I won't bother, uh, moving you guys around the map for that one. Um, okay. you guys uneventfully return Walter to his tomb, um, when you close the casket and then subsequently close the, uh, door mm -hmm. to the crypt, um, the altar cracks and the fog dissipates and you guys feel like a huge burden has been lifted from your shoulders, like... You were holding a breath that you didn't even know that you were holding, kind of a situation. On a related note, right, no longer holding my breath. Before, no, shut up, Butter. I and the big dude are just booking it out of here. <laughs> um. Since that seemed to pretty much solve things, we're probably fine. Does anyone care to, um, also lay to rest, uh, the, uh, lady and lord of the manor? Nope. 
No. Oh, seems like everything is good, so... I'm taking my rope as soon as... Yeah, uh, grab your rope and let's go. <laughs> um, but what's in their chest? Where's, uh... Are, Tender, are you still in there? The yeah, he's looking at the hole in the altar. Oh, okay, so I, I don't grab my rope yet. <laughs> uh, I mean, you... The hole in the altar... I mean, like, the altar just kind of, like, cracks in half and it just exposes... Nothing? Yeah, he's just... Yep. He's just looking at the... The remains. Okay. Just broken up rocks then? Yeah, just broken up yeah. bits and pieces of the altar. There's nothing hidden inside of it. Um, there's nothing exposed as a result. It's just like a broken up stone altar. I'm just gonna kick it anyway. You kick it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced it was like my 40th attack that finally cracked the thing. Same, absolutely. Of course, yes. But, Definitely. Uh, which we're out. Okay, grab rope. Dip. Yeah, if no one's gonna uh, help me with uh, either of the the two adult bodies, then yeah, it's I'm, I'm I'll just can exit the building uh, with the rest of my kinda, companions. It's kind of bad for Gustav, but I'm not doing four levels of bad things happening to us. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I would definitely vote in favor of doing w with Gustav. The other one, eh. I'm not even gonna open their tombs. Oh, are, are, were there were their tombs sealed? Like I, I didn't know if you guys got into those when we went upstairs no, for the kids' their, bodies. No, their tombs remain sealed. Oh. Maybe they got some juice in there. They got tomb juice. Yeah, I let's check for tomb juice. I don't want any crypt capri song. Crypt capri song. You just kind of suck it out of the bag. <laughs> Huh? You can have your corpse juice, I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, if no one's gonna help, then I'll just uh, go out the building with the rest. Alright, um, as you guys exit the building, the buildings all look dilapidated and run down. Um, old, decrepit, so on and so forth. So like um, how they looked from the third story balconies? Yeah, the aura of niceties is gone. Um, the fog has lifted somewhat. You can see, you know, not super far, but you can kind of see, like, okay, like, this is this is normal fog behavior now. It's not like you're closed in on you. Um, oh, look, the railroad tracks are gone. <laughs> Outside of the house is a carriage pulled by four black horses in there. On a railroad track. There is a, a Dusk Elf waiting next to the carriage. Um, when he sees you, he waves at you. Are we... I it's suppose it's right. You're outside. Are we being beckoned? Yeah, I, Dark Elf? I, yeah, I it's, suppose it's, a, it's, it's not quite as dark as a Dark Elf. He's not a drow. Doesn't look it now. I suppose mm -hmm. now is the time for talking. Um, yeah. I step forward, hoping that I, that most of the gore is off of me. Shouldn't dry it up. Uh, and and say, uh, do we know you, friend? Um. The elf kind of smiles a little bit. Um, he says. You don't know me, you don't have to know me, I suppose you will, um, but, uh, it is my master who wishes to speak to you and bring you to the town not far from here. And he kind of gestures to the carriage behind him. Who is your master? He just kind of smiles and gestures again and says, why don't you meet him? Uh, why don't you just tell us? He can introduce himself. You then can he can come carriage. out of the carriage. <laughs> you can introduce, <laughs> introduce himself uh, in the carriage. Yeah, I, I would, I would, I'll say something along the lines of, uh, your master seems the type uh, that is best introduced by others. Um, and if you... there's a convince or something? Persuasion? Persuasion. Um, 
the man oh, <laughs> the the man opens his mouth and you just kind of hear some laughter and then uh, a voice speaking a language that you don't know um was the, that supposed to be comforting? <laughs> the, the man sort of seems to shrug and then turns and opens the carriage door. Um, and out steps. Let me see if I can get my picture. Dur, dur, dur. This dude. Yes. Please, any other picture up there right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, a, a fancy noble looking kind of a guy. Um, he's well he dressed. No, he does not have his knife out. That's just okay. <laughs> no, he just he Get he's him. not even holding <laughs> he's not holding a knife. Kill him like we killed the um, woman of the house. What did I say have, that out loud? He does have a sword at his waist, but it's clearly like a very fancy sort of a dealio. Um, he just okay. says, you know, I I apologize, you know. uh we should have expected that you would be upset after what it is that you have endured. And he kind of gestures to the house and he says, this is something that has plagued our lands for centuries. And we always hope that people will take care of it, but so far none have been successful. I would like to thank you for your assistance in this. And thus I am offering you passage into Barov the town of Barovia. It will save you some time and perhaps give you some rest along the way. Okay, right, are you? So his name and all that, but I vote that we burn down the house. Is this the, uh, the master? Yeah, I mean, you can, you can figure that out. There, there doesn't seem to be anyone else in the carriage. Um, the other man who he addressed hops back up on the front of the carriage and takes the horse's reins. Um, what do you having, mean? uh, is, I'm assuming that my divine sense doesn't give me any sense that anything's wrong with this guy. Uh, what does divine sense do? Super good question. Let me click. You haven't heard thing. from that in months now. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been asking on that because I've just basically assumed that everything we've run into in the house is evil. Oh. <laughs> More or less, I can smell evil on him if he is such. Uh, he doesn't seem too good to you. Okay. Maybe not the stench of evil, but definitely not the heavenly music. Oh no, music he smells good... like evil. He's not oh, a good smell. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I say we thank you for your generosity. Uh, but we uh, move at our own pace, and if we will, perhaps we may see you again in Barovia. I want to know what he means by others. What do you mean? Uh, he was always hoping that uh, others would take care of it, and they've been unsuccessful so far. Um, I'm. Yeah. I, I think he meant that. The ghost children were unwittingly adding to the flesh beast. Yeah, but I want to know uh, if he's culpable. Like, um, you know, he was bringing people. Now, s s the, the man kind of shrugs and says, um, you are not the first outsiders to come into these lands, and I doubt you will be the last. You are just the first to take care of this problem. There are many problems that plague these lands. This is simply one of them. Or was one of them. Okay, did you have a hand in bringing us here? He snorts and says, I've never wanted anything to do with these people in spite of their wishes. Okay, I am suspiciously and say thanks, but no thanks. And I join uh, Enoch and tell him to fuck off. <laughs> Politely. Yeah. New York abstains, courteously. Um... You can give me an insight check if you want. Either of us? Yeah. Anybody? Okay. He means you absolutely no harm. He seems very earnest in his desire to simply get you to the next town. Yeah, but I, I still feel like he's culpable. People That's fair. I don't know why, but I think he is, so I don't trust him. 
sense. That cop sense. I don't want to have to knock the paladin out either, so... <laughs> I mean, he's not waffle good. Yeah, but this guy still reeks of evil, and I'm not about jumping into his, uh, carriage with him right now. But look at the ponies! I mean, I'm just waiting for the word, and I'll hobble the shit out of this carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, where's the, where's the cop? Do we have uh, the, the the shit we can attach to the wheel so I can't go anywhere? I uh, wish. I manacles. No, but I got a big axe. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, the man s shrugs and seems disappointed that you won't uh, take him up on his offer. Um, he says, uh, well, if you won't allow me to grant you safe passage, at the very least, let me lend you some aid. And he turns and he vanishes into the carriage. Um, poof. He, yeah, I mean, he doesn't literally Thanks. fucking poof, poof of smoke into the carriage. Um, that was helpful. Um, Let's go. He, he goes into the carriage, you hear some rustling around, and he comes out again. Um, and he's got a box, kind of like the one that you guys saw in the basement that had the healing potions in it, and he holds it out to you. Um, Enoch will accept, um, and says, uh, we will remember your graciousness, but, uh, as has been said, we will, uh, reach Barovia at our own pace. For, forgive the eccentricities of outsiders. He kind of looks your group over and, like, with, like, a lingering gaze, and kind of smiles, and says, I suppose I will. Um, he gives a, like, a slight bow and a nod of the head before hopping back up into his carriage, um, at which point the gentleman outside, uh, you know, cracks the reins and the horses take off. And it's like, if, like, if he was, you know, like a mayor of the town or the local lord or something like that, he could have fucking told us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He didn't. You didn't yeah. ask him. You, you got all fucking fuck. coy. You yeah. didn't ask him. You ask his manservant. <laughs> so he took off. Manservant should have introduced him. May I, may I present Lord blah blah blah. Yeah. Shitty manservant. Screw that guy. So bonfire. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Do you guys uh, want to set the house ablaze? Absolutely. Perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, Inuk will abstain. He doesn't vote in favor of arson, but the children having been laid to rest, he will not object overly much either. Why don't you go sniff the house? I think you'll change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, the basement will be fine. I will, uh, I will mention those of you who had the positive effects from the children. Now that Walter has been interred, you do not have those either. Oh, I'm keeping that. Okay. <laughs> I don't even think that you used it, Boater. You had so many opportunities. What? I'm. I may be thinking something else then, because I definitely used a couple things that I got from, from oh, Rose. Oh, did you? Okay. Then I'm, yes. I'm probably confusing some things. That's fine. Well, she gave me silly. some cantrips, right? Yeah. I used two out of three of those. Okay. Then I just yeah, forgot what the cantrips right. were. Yeah, shocking grasp. Zap! <laughs> yes, that's correct. Um, uh, as well as light on my shield so I didn't have to carry a torch around. I, I will miss that one. Oh yeah, I thought light was a, a oh. thing, but you're right. Are you kidding me? What? what? That bitch gave him shocking grasp? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Nobody Good wanted to hold no. hands with the kids! She knew Jesus. some fucking wizard spells and nobody even bothered asking her why. I don't uh, that could have been great. Investigating her. Spooky could have waited until we had the thing almost dead, and then he could have used it and held it still, and would have been a wonderful. Anyway, so you guys, you guys burn the house down. Yes. Funeral yeah. fire. Okay. Bins. Um. At this point, you successfully burn down the house. The house. What did I say last time? The house doesn't want to burn. Well, this time it's fine with burning. It doesn't put up a fight. <laughs> <laughs> the house doesn't want to be on fire, is I think what I said last time. Yeah. Um, and then we're like, well, you know, sometimes <laughs> don't get to make that decision. <laughs> well, this time the house seems to be pretty okay with being lit on fire. 
Excellent. Well, right. I'm happy, happy to commit some mild arson. Dan, oh. what did you get from Thorn? <laughs> Advantage on charisma saving throws. Of which that didn't happen at all. Okay. I would know because then I would have bingo. And a fear of my own shadow. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at oh, least wow. he managed to get rid of that. Yeah, he he got to be afraid. That's why he was so paranoid of the basement. Oh. Um. Nice. All right. So. I want to find the horses. The horses? Yeah. The they just ran away animals. with the cart. Yeah, dude. I was like, you lost your chance at having some fucking horses, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about this, the rotting stable. I want to find the horses. The rotting them. stable for the estate that's been here by that dude's admission hundreds of years. Yeah, it's the only thing that we haven't found from the family yet. We, we buried everyone else. We haven't found the horses. Do you want to go bury some fucking horses? Yeah, dude. Come here, cat. You can finally come and sit on my <laughs> Come here, cat. We're going to bury some horses. Well, I mean, he's been begging for attention for the past, like, four hours, and I've been telling him no pretty regularly, so now he gets to cuddle me. Okay. Um, so, what do you guys decide to do now? Besides, I guess, burn some stables or investigate some stables. Well, which way Anyone did Anyone have marshmallows? <laughs> yeah, in hindsight, we probably should have asked him which way Barovia was before uh, telling him to pound sand. <laughs> there is but one road in front of the house. It goes the way that he is going, or the way that he probably potentially came from. Yeah. I figured, or oh, he went the, that way. There's oh, the look, way, it's the road. The way that you guys came from, or the way that he is going. So you guys kind of what my boat is. came from the mists, or you can uh, follow the carriage tracks. Kitty. Uh, this is not... I will... Ha! Tommy time. Uh, what, what time of day is it? Now that we're outside and it's not bullshit mist. Uh, it's probably like evening. Not necessarily late evening, but evening still. So we should set probably up. set up camp yeah. when we have some vague coverage. Burned down the house and now you want to set up yeah. camp. There are <laughs> other buildings. Stables. Yeah. There are They're other buildings on in. the estate. So you don't need a freaking four-star hotel, just uh, you know a little bit of the lean-to, you know. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yes, we'll set up for a long rest while we are in the open area of the estate, rather than diving into the middle of the forest somewhere. Yeah, just find find the nearest like wall, and then you've got. Like twice as much coverage or protection. That's the word. Protection. Uh huh. No, really. I'm gonna find the nearest wall. You know, whichever building looks like it's vaguely still intact, mm -hmm. and then use that to set up camp. Um, yeah, and then keeping watches, we only have to look in one direction. So the stables look pretty well fucked. Um. The servant's house, only half of it's caved in. Lean to. There we go. The so, campfire will keep them warm at night. Thank you, Drogon. Very, very true. If only we had a lumberjack mage. We do need a lumberjack mage. What? I've got an axe. Oh, hold on. I get to check off another dead kid because of uh, Walter's body. <laughs> so many dead kids. Actually, let's see. Free space, a dead kid, then yet another dead kid, and another dead kid. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so you guys just kind of make up camp for the night then? Yep. All right, um, we can call it there. Um, you guys will be level three going into next session. Um, your guys' intention is to head towards the town of Barovia, presumably? Yeah, yeah. I mean... We could also just wander aimlessly and hope we get back home, but uh, I think we'll head to Barovia first and see what that's all about. Or okay. whatever's next on the, uh, the trail. Yeah. But loosely Barovia. Okay. I mean, hopefully it's the town and there's a tavern and we can have a real drink. But... I get drunk. 
you guys still not going to introduce one another to one another? Just, oh. No, we did. That. We did. Yeah. We did. Yeah. We did before we went down to the basement. Not everybody. Okay, the human hasn't, but at this point I'm just going to call him human. Yeah, I think we're all going to call him human. Yes. He's the token human. Oh, you know which. Oh. <laughs> Um, we left so much good loot down there. Like a desiccated yeah, frog it. attached to a stick. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, you could have taken it with you. We did leave a painting. You could do we left a, a few wolf paintings. Wolf a Remember that paint, painter? that tapestry that had, like, the wolves in it? That would have been cool. That would have been pretty dope, yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. What? Yeah. Well, I and you call yourself shield. an art collector. <laughs> Oh well. I mean, you could run into the fire. It only does one d six per round. I do have two creepy blankets and some various monster appendages. So I'll just wear the tingly cloak. That'll wow. protect me. Wow. <laughs> um, yes. As long as we're taking a rest, uh, are we just gonna worry about it between sessions, like identifying the cloak, or can you tell me what that is now? It's a cloak of protection. Okay. Nice. What about my eye patch? I already attuned to that. It's just an eye patch. It looks fancy. But what is the two clean gems? I'm not yeah, but what are its magical cloak? properties? The cloak of protection is plus one bonus to AC and saving throws while you wear the cloak. Can a turtle wear it? You're not proficient in cloaks. Because a, a turtle cannot wear armor. Does a cloak count as armor? I mean, you can wear Or is clothes. it like an accessory? I guess it's, it's like cloak, an accessory, right? yeah. Cool. I'm gonna wear it so I'm even tankier. Yeah, for sure. What about these green gems? The what? Those green gems. The, the green the gems. Does the, anyone the want to magic. investigate the trio of green gems and the singular green gems? I wish to take a look at the rocks. Yeah, I mean, I'm the investigator man, so I'll, I'll take a look. Does any one of you have any experience? In jewel I mean, crafting, I'm a, gems appraising. I'm a dwarf. Okay. I'm a cat dwarf, um, so. sure. So you recognize the stones as moss agate. Bob okay. Saget? No. Bob Saget. How much is, is moss moss agate worth? Uh, about like ten gold a piece. Okay. I let uh I let Tender know. Tender, you were the one that had had them, right? Yeah. yeah. You okay, have I'll let you know. The value. No idea what the other one is, just that it's got some kind of magical property. Oh. Oh, well, you I'll know what's great? Now. An hour later. It's a glowing green gem, and it still is a glowing green gem an hour later. Plot. That's not how attunement works. It's nothing to be attuned to. Do I have any idea what the, the gem make is at all? Like, is it an enchanted, like, emerald or something like that? It's from K's. It's from K's. Um, is it a Chaos Emerald? It's... Oh, this whole fucking thing here is Chaos Emerald. Give me one moment just to double check that that's not a specific kind of gem. I just know that it's green. <laughs> is this the one from Walter? Yes. Yeah. Stab it! Meow. He's like rubbing his spittle all over the books and trying to read it. Gross. Um, <laughs> I love cats. Uh, it's a big gem. It's a big, as big as a pine cone. Um. Oh. Wow. It's magical of some nature. <laughs> Can I put it in a sling and hurl it? In theory. Sounds like a yes to me. <laughs> so this pine cone gem was inside a baby. Yes. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of baby, was there? No. Well, the other kid starved. That was mostly pine cone gem, apparently. 
How did it get in there? They like, like stuff it like a turkey. <laughs> he was a uh, he was cut down the middle, and the gem was uh, put in there. Okay. Fair enough. anyone have any questions about getting to level three or is that something that people want to do later um i'll do that on my own time because i know again it's got some mm -hmm. complicated shit right i should be ready by about october um protection I lantern? I wish I um lost my spending more time investigating the gold ring does nothing nope it's just a gold ring what same with the ivory hairbrush with silver bristles uh, hairbrush with silver bristles. Cool. What about the sooty orb? The sooty orb, um, you can use it as a focus. Otherwise, it doesn't seem to have any innate properties. Um, you're still kind of unsettled by it. Still got the yellow book. Ah, do you wish to yellow investigate spellbook. the yellow book? Yes. Okay. So, the yellow spell book, it contains the following wizard spells. Um, first level has, you have a first level disguise self, identify, mage armor, magic missile, protection from evil and good. And second level, dark vision, hold person, invisibility, and magic weapon. Um, if anyone wants to give me either an insight or an investigation, they can feel free to do so. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. It's just a smattering of items, I suppose. Nobody rolled particularly well. Right. I don't think anyone can use the spell book, can they? Depends on if anyone can start using wizard spells at some point. Yeah, but I don't think he learns them. I think he knows them like a, like a sorcerer. Hmm. Either way, it's a wizard spell book. It's got spells in it. Yep. I'm good to see if there's anything that uh, matches with the strange book I had on me beforehand. The strange book. You had a strange book? You've been holding out? It's in my backstory. Oh, yeah. Um. I'll see if it has anything to do with your strange book. Um, that book was just the deed to the house. As you are going through the stuff, you do notice that the will and the deeds um, have aged markedly, as well as the scrolls. They're intact, but they now look significantly older than when you were in the house. Wait, we, we got a house and we put it down. Yeah. We weren't gonna keep the house anyway. If we if we wanted the land, we'll build our own. So we're gonna go. And plus, we have the deed to it, so you know. I mean, it's not signed to us, but you know. What about the uh, black leather bound books I picked up earlier as well. Uh, they also look pretty aged, but they're still intact. You know, you can still use them. I got my murder book still. Your murder book. Yep, it's also older but still intact. What about the weird shit that we picked up from? Well, I picked up from down down below the like the wolf tongue and stuff. Did any of that age? Like, did everything age or just the? Seems untouched, it's unchanged. Okay. Creepy blankets. Uh, the creepy blankets were always kind of old and creepy. Okay, that's fine. That's that's why I have them. They're supposed to be creepy. Otherwise, they'd just be blankets. Your weapons are fine. Uh, 
What about any of the weapons that we picked up from there? Yeah, that's what I mean, it's the weapons are fine. Um, you might want to do a little, you know, sharpening or polishing, but they're sturdy. Polish the crossbows. Yeah, well, you know, you might want to make sure that it lines up and everything. Fire a few shots, make sure that it's not crooked or it's not going to jam. She's just trying to trick you into firing the cursed crossbow. <laughs> it's not a cursed crossbow. Is that Mine a crossbow? It didn't hit anything, but... Is part of Tender's background is being haunted one. We got a spooky item. Yep. And even a candle that won't light. This is something uh, I like to do before he sleeps. He takes his candle out and he tries to light it. You try to light the candle? That won't light, yeah. He knows it won't light, but he does it anyway. How do you try to light your candle? With the house. <laughs> yeah, actually. Okay, <laughs> um... <laughs> so... Let me actually... We're just always carrying the burning house around with us to light God. candles and torches and shit. <laughs> um... That was the... You got your your powers from the, uh... That shadowy dude, right? So I got... A book. Right. And that's my arcane focus. Right. And that's kind of where the powers come from. Right. And then I got some writing tools. So I guess like a pot of ink and a quill. And then I got those from basically being a shadow magic sorcerer. But then I picked the background haunted one and that gave me an extra uh, spooky yeah. item. Right. But I just kind of said that they all three came from the boxy thing. Sure, so so they all came together? Yeah. Then yeah, your candle lights. Oh. He's never managed to light it before. He doesn't like it. <laughs> And he's still not going to express that to any of us. <laughs> you just see him walk up, light a candle, and then quickly put it out. You can, you can see that he's distressed. Yeah. Um, what if... Uh, give me some kind of... If you want to give me like a knowledge arcana or a knowledge religion or something, you can do that. Who, me? Yeah. I believe it's negative one. Yeah. Um, it's spooky. <laughs> That's all you get out of that. <laughs> okay. I assume that you don't express this to anybody. It's just spooky. Yeah, it's just like something he does before. He tries to sleep every day. He tries to light this candle that he won't light. And now he doesn't know what to do that it actually did light. Over a corpse shield fire. All right. Probably not going to try to light it tomorrow, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, if no one else has anything that they want to do in character, I think we can call that wrapped up.